What's up, everybody? Warlog here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, Apex Legends dropped a brand new update with a bunch of added new content for the game, and I think it's going to just address the better overall quality for Apex Legends. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on notification bells, and let's get right into the video. To the progression system in Apex Legends, the level cap has been increased from 100 to 500 with the XP required to hit level 100 reduced by about 5% to smooth out the other uh, level XP increases. As for what this means in terms of rewards, players will be able to earn up to 199 Apex packs by reaching level 500, which is huge because all we've been getting is the Apex Legends coins, which do nothing. A massive increase over the previous maximum of 45 packs, the 45 packs that you got from going from level 0 to 100. Uh, here's the rate at which the packs will be earned. Level 2 to 20, you get one pack every level. Level 22 to 300, you get one pack every two levels. And level 305 to 500, you get one pack every five levels. You will continue to get 600 legend tokens per level. Hey! You will continue to earn 600 legend tokens per level. Apex packs rewards will be retroactive. Players will be able, will, will be awarded a player level gun charm for every 100 levels they surpass which is not bad it's not bad the progression system is actually pretty cool so more apex packs you can earn up look at the charms level one two three four five hundred that's pretty cool uh friendly firing range uh this is going to be a huge one for people this is um i think this is going to be kind of like their test for uh custom games so they're going to kind of throw this in and go hey you can kind of do stuff but you can't really play a game so uh, friendly fire and firing range the addition of firing range as a replacement for the previous training area in apex legend was was very positively received by the player base same here i love it i think it's great having everything there being able to test stuff shoot it in actual like character look alike all this stuff i think it's very very good now following the december 3 update friendly fire has been enabled in firing range allowing players to load in together to shoot at each other and inflict damage this is good for like testing new guns, testing certain things or strategies that you want to do, um, testing against the armors, all that good stuff. This feature was highly requested by the community because it considerably expands the use of the practice arena since players can now 1v1 each other and practice against live competition outside of regular matches, hence their custom matches that may be coming to Apex Legends, okay? Which I think is all good stuff. The feature was highly requested by the community. It considered to be, okay, 1v1. It will be offered as an option. Those who do not want, you can just enable it, turn it off and on to be able to do that. Knockdown shield buffs. I'm not really sure why this was a thing, but uh, the update implemented several changes to the knockdown shields work. Most of the team, uh, most of them have been, uh, most, of them, most of them being buffs. For one, knockdown shields now offer protection that extends over and beyond or behind players' heads. Secondly, the health of the gray common shield and blue rare shield have both been increased common from 100 hp to 200 and blue from 250 to 450 there was one slight nerf made players will now move slower while the shield is active with the movements being reduced by 0.65 to 0.55 which is kind of nuts um not that it was really a big deal but um it's just kind of interesting i think for the shields i'm not really sure why uh the full patch notes progression update we went over that new gun charms the peacekeeper uh they have heard uh feedback loud and clear that the peacekeeper is still too powerful after the latest changes uh we are working to push out more tweaks to address it asap and we'll post the post the details on timing what Sorry. posting the timing on it asap um so the peacekeeper we've heard feedback loud and clear that the peacekeeper is still feeling too powerful after latest changes we are working to push out more tweaks to address it asap and we'll post details on timing and what those changes will be soon uh the peacekeeper again is too powerful you guys have been seeing me use it all day long the gun is just still overpowered i don't know how much nerfing that they're going to do to the game but it definitely messes up um especially in ranked play um quality of life stuff helmets and armors are now more colorblind so you can see this and and see those when you're 
looting them or shooting somebody with them on and off uh added on and off setting that determines if taking damage while looting a death box closes the menu you can toggle this in the gameplay section that's interesting so if you're looting a death box and you as soon as you take damage you um it closes the box so you can hop out instead of having to hop out on your own interesting players will have that have auto sprint enabled can now sprint out of slide by using l3 added inspect inspect animation for lifelines heirloom fix a bug uh, pc only stuff gold armor spawn rates have been reduced players will now receive a prompt allowing them to cancel finishers in progress thank god that seemed to be like a real problem uh, they got a bunch of bug fixes hopefully they fix stuff for audio um it's just like quality of love life stuff the upgrade to knockdown shields the firing range and legends watson so watson's trophy system the trophy system is now significantly more aggressive in the way it shoots down grenades rather than just identifying between incoming and outgoing projectiles it now predicts the trajectory of grenades thrown within the interception zone and intercepts them if they will land anywhere near or anywhere within that zone this means that no grenade can contact any surface within the interception interception zone regardless of team but players can fire grenades outwards from anywhere within the zone that's interesting that's the update that we're getting right now guys um i think this update is huge i think the quality of life on it is going to be pretty stellar uh, I don't think that um, there was really anything that's like negative right off the bat. The level system seems to be in place. I mean, I think most of everybody has been sitting at level 100 for a long time. Legend tokens, again, I think re I really wish Respawn would just do something with them. I mean, they've kind of done something, but it, at the same time, they didn't. It's kind of just a waste. Um, I do like the level cap increase. The uh, gun charms are awesome. Firing range. Uh, again, guys, I think this is going to be really good to test stuff out. Test, test stuff out new guns legends etc um being able to go in and do kind of strategies and kind of build those kind of things with each other is going to be really good i really think this is respawn's way to kind of be like hey there might be custom games coming soon into apex let's check this out you know uh so i think that'll be that the knockdown shield buffs to be honest i never really saw an issue with them um Maybe the community felt like they were just too they were too weak or they just didn't do enough. I don't know, but we'll see how much of uh, the HP difference does. The movement, I think, is is fine, um, but if it protects you almost all the way around, then they, it forces players to shoot through the shield, which can help with the thirsting in the game. That's going to be a huge uh, thing with ranked or uh the pro league like being able to knock somebody down and move around them and thirst them but if they just hold the shield up the whole time then you got to fight through that shield so i think that's gonna help out with being able to to revive your teammates and and hopefully you can stay alive so i do think the the overall update is going to be good it should be finishing downloading here in a minute guys and then we'll copy and we'll check this out for the rest of the stream and see how it goes so guys if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button Turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future Apex Legends what content. You, what, what so let's get back to the action, guys. For me, Warlord, stay gaming. Come on.